Hello, music friends. I've got a great song for us today. It's called Ickle Ockle Blue Bottle. <laughs> Ickle Ockle, that sounds silly. Do you think those are real words? No, they're just called nonsense words. All right, lyrics to our song. That means the words to our song. They go like this. Ickle ockle blue bottle, fishes in the sea. If you want a partner, please choose me. All right, so my hope is that my first, second, and third graders will remember this song. So kindergartners, this one might be new for you. It sounds like this. Ickle ockle blue bottle, fishes in the sea. If you want a partner, please choose me. Mm, listen to it again. Ickle, ockle, blue bottle, fishes in the sea. If you want a partner, please choose me. It says, tap the shells. All right, get those hands ready. Here we go. Ickle, ockle, blue bottle, fishes in the sea. If you want a partner, please choose me. Great job. All right, this time let's do it again. And I'm gonna add something. Let's see if you can figure out what it is. Hands ready? Here we go. Ickle, ockle, blue bottle, fishes in the sea. Shh. If you want a partner, please choose me. Shh. Did you hear it? Did you figure it out? Very good. Keep that in mind. Hmm. What are the shells showing us? What were you just tapping? Do you remember? The steady beat, that's right. Now our steady beat comes from our heartbeat, so it's steady. Does this sound steady? No, <laughs> that's crazy. Steady means it's the same pace, it moves at the same tempo. All right, this time it says tap the beat. All right. Here we go. Ickle, ockle, blue bottle, fishes in the sea. Shh. If you want a partner, please choose me. Shh. Great steady B. This time it says, clap the rhythm of the words. So we know rhythm is the way the words go. So every time you hear a word, every time you hear a syllable, that's a new clap. Oh, wow, look at those shells. Ooh, and I noticed something about two of those shells. Maybe you'll figure it out even the first time. Let's clap the words. Here we go. Ickle, ockle, blue bottle, fishes in the sea. Shh, if you want a partner, Please choose me. Shh. Nice. Try it again. Here we go. Ickle, ockle, blue bottle, fishes in the sea. Shh. If you want a partner, please choose me. Shh. All right. It says clap and read the rhythms that you know. Now, my second and third graders, you'll probably know all of the rhythms, but maybe kindergarten, first grade, we'll see. We'll see how you do the first time, but don't worry. We'll get everyone on the same page. Oh, hmm. I noticed something again about two of those shells. All right, so here's what I see. I see toddy, the two connected, or two lines connected, and I see ta, the single line. Let's see if we can clap toddy and ta. When we get to the one that says a question mark, we'll just keep doing the same thing we've been doing. We'll add to it on the next time. All right, toddies and ta. Here I go. Toddy, toddy, ta. 
ta di ta di ta di ta sh ta di ta di ta 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 sh all right very good let's try that again ta dies and ta here we go ta di ta di ta ta di ta di ta di ta sh ta di ta di ta 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 sh nice it says did you hear a piece of silence i bet you did you figure it out yeah musicians call that piece of silence you heard a ta rest so it looks like a z when we write it out in our notation ta rest read the song with our new rhythm now this time if you remember when we get to that z we make the sh sound because there's no words and we're going to open our hands up because there's no clap either all right let's add that in here we it go a go blue bottle fishes in the sea Shh. if you want a partner please choose me Shh. nice job let's do that again here we go it go a go blue bottle fishes in the sea Shh. if you want a partner please choose me Shh. all right we're going to switch gears to our melody melody is when it goes up and down to make the song so it says follow the melody all right so this time i don't have to clap anymore we're just going to go back to singing our song and following how the shells go up and down and make your voice go up and down. Here we go. It go a go blue bottle fishes in the sea. Shh. If you want a partner, please choose me. Shh. Very good. Did you follow the shells? All right. So we're going to add another layer. It says sing on the sofa that you know. Now, most of my friends, hopefully you'll remember, we've talked before about so and me. If you remember all the way back to when you might have been in my classroom, I've got my sofa street on the back wall where we have all the different houses. S stands for so, which is the higher house. M stands for me, which is the lower house. Now, we're adding a new note onto our sofa street. I don't think this is new for second and third grade, but kinder and first, this might be a little bit new for you. But like I said, don't worry, we're gonna do it a couple of times and get everyone on the same page. All right, so when you see that question mark, we're just gonna hum that note because we're not, we're not totally sure what it is quite yet. So the S stands for so, M stands for me, and question mark is our new note. Here we go. So, so, mm -hmm. so, me, me, so, so, mm -hmm. so, 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 mm -hmm. so, me, so, mm -hmm. so, yeah. All right, let me rewind. Oops. Let's try that again. Here we go. So, so, mm -hmm. so, me, me, so, so, mm -hmm. so, shh. so, so, mm -hmm. so, me, so, mm -hmm. so, shh. all right. So our new note, is it higher or lower than so and me? I'm gonna go back to this page because this one's gonna help us out the most. All right, so here's our new note. Here's so. Is the question mark higher or lower? What do you think? Yeah, it's higher. All right. Well, here's the question mark, our new note, and here's me. Hmm. 
Which one's higher? Yeah, our new note is higher than me and so. All right, let me fast forward to here. Our new note is higher than so and higher than me, and it's called la. Let's see where la lives on Sofa Street. Right there. Okay, so now I have a question for you. Hmm. Are so and me next door neighbors on Sulfa Street? Do they live right next door to each other? No, they don't. There's something in between them, so they're not next door neighbors. But take a look. So and la. Are so and la next door neighbors? Yes, they are. There's nothing in between. There's no stair step in between. There's no for sale sign in between. They are right next door to each other. So and me, we say is a skip. And so and la are neighbors. All right, so let's add la to our song. Here we go. So, so, la, la, so, me, me. So, so, la, la. So, so, la, la, so, me, so, la, so, shh. All right, let's do that one last time and rewind. Here we go. So, so, la, la, so, me, me. So, so, la, la, so, shh. So, so, la, la, so, me, so, la, so, shh. All right, nice job today, everybody. Thanks for watching.